Alright, so here's the Pi DP8i running Space War. I don't have a terminal capable of displaying Space War though. Um, this is the terminal that I'm eventually going to hook to the thing, uh, but I haven't made a cable for it yet, so it's not hooked to anything, but it's a cool old terminal, I think. Uh, so for the moment, uh, I'm just running it on a composite monitor uh, with a USB keyboard here. So, um, Space War gives the most interesting blinking lights, I think, but um, we can reboot into uh, OS 8 here and have a console up here and um, Uh, you can see there it has Colossal Cave installed on it, but um, the uh, the binary is corrupt. I tried reinstalling the system software and it's still corrupt, so I assume that the one that it ships with is corrupt. Uh, the problem is when you try to exec advent, um, it'll try to recompile the Fortran source code and then break the LD file. That the LD file is the binary file, um, and then it won't run anymore. And it just says, um, "This." So that's kind of a shame, but um, we can uh, enter PDP8 basic um, and load files like oh, if I could type like Wampus and list it and list it again while you're watching the blinking lights so that's pretty cool and then we can run it prepare to play Wampus. Uh, you can't really see on the camera, I don't think. Um, the, the lights actually flicker, but um, the way the uh, the way this, this circuit uh, strobes the LEDs, um, it probably syncs up with the camera a little bit and doesn't look right. Um, so anyway, yeah, we can uh, we can we can hunt the wampus. Although I think um, Hunter in Darkness is a much better uh, much better implementation of hunt the hunt the wampus. So um, we feel a draft, and we smell a wampus. Well, we could take one step and die. I I don't remember how to play this. Um, oh, this this uh, this game is. Um, the map is like a 3D geometric solid. I think in old versions you actually have to type the room number that you want to go to, and I don't remember what they are off the top of my head. Yeah, I'd have to have a diagram. Or maybe I'm just too dumb to figure out how to hunt the wampus. But in, in any case, um, there you go. There's the, uh, there's the Pi DP-11. Um, we'll, uh, the rest of this video is just going to be like... Um, the assembly sped up. Um, well, I'm going to make some comments um, about what I'm going to do with this later that I recorded previously. And then the rest of the video will be um, an accelerated assembly video. So, um, for now, I'm going to go ahead and follow directions and mount it in this case. Um, this is the box that it goes in, and it uh, it screws down to these wood spacers and um, as you can see the box is fairly narrow and I can't actually fit um, everything that I want to put in this thing uh, into this box so I'm eventually going to make a different enclosure for it out of wood and mount the faceplate in the new enclosure and it'll be the same size um, it might be a little bit thicker but it'll be the same size just deeper so I can put some more stuff inside of it and um, my intention here is to um, right now I'm using this uh, 
this Raspberry Pi 3 uh, to run the software for the thing, but eventually I'm going to when we put the new uh, when we build the new case um, I'm going to put this Raspberry Pi 4 into the thing and my intention is um, once the enclosure is a little bit deeper um, rather than mounting it straight onto these on, on, onto the back of this board here um, I'll actually make a little adapter uh, that'll plug into this this header and um, screw onto these things somehow uh, to keep it from flexing. I'll probably have to use a big piece of perf board um, and drill it to mount on this whole area just to keep it from flexing right there if I just use these two studs. But anyway, um, I digress. The, the adapter will mount on here and um, it'll have a, a, a pin header on it that plugs down into this connector on the back and then another pin header uh, that we can plug a ribbon cable into and then the Raspberry Pi itself will be mounted further back in the case. It may be mounted like this in the case so that, oops, so that these ports um, can be directly accessible um, from the back of the case and then I will get a couple of HDMI extension cables that are panel mount and run them out uh, to the back of the case along with the audio and um, this adapter that I will put together uh, will also power the Raspberry Pi over the GPIO header instead of using the USB-C port for that and that way I can use the USB-C port to mount a fairly fast uh, internal disk drive because uh, running these things off of SD cards is very very slow and while, and while I think it's cool um, to emulate a, a PDP-8 with the thing. I also um, want to be able to attach uh, HDMI monitors uh, to it um, with a USB keyboard and mouse kind of set aside from the um, from the PDP-8 setup which will be using a serial terminal that the PDP-8 will, uh, will sit on top of uh, this is my serial terminal. I'll show you that here after a while after I've got the camera off of the mount here. But um, yeah, and then I'll just have I'll have the rest of it kind of sitting to the side, kind of as a separate computer, um, because I mean the four gigabyte Raspberry Pi four is uh, a lot of people probably disagree with me, but for the kind of stuff that I generally do, um, it's more than sufficient to act as a general purpose computer. Um, it'll be challenging though. Um, there's no 64-bit uh, version of um, Div1 available for the Raspberry Pi 4, so I'll have to manually remove System D from the 64-bit version of Raspbian, and I might have to try to pin some packages out of the unstable version of Div1. I'm not sure. I may just have to run the 32-bit uh, version of um, Raspbian on this to do that because I don't think I don't think even the 32-bit version of Div1 will run on the Raspberry Pi 4 because it doesn't support the processor yet or something I don't know I was reading about that and it was very demotivating um, almost makes one want to use an Intel CPU like a Latte Panda or something but that's neither here nor there anyway um, yeah so that's the plan